Now the third way that you can build your own preset is just that. You're going to build your own preset. The Latex 360 and the Latex 370 have the capacity on most front-lit materials to be able to build a full preset. That is, we're going to do your calibrate color, your uh, ink restrictions, global ink limits, your color calibration, which includes your ink restriction and linearization, and a full ICC profile all on board the printer. It's a magnificent feature of the 360 and 370. Now, the 310 and 330, they will do a partial preset, and that's still important. You can still do a partial preset, and that really matters. But the 360 and 370 let you do end-to-end. -end. Now, in another video, I'm going to go over in a little more depth all the steps involved in this, and we'll look at the charts, and I'll explain them and what they mean and what you're doing. But what I'm going to explain in this is just that you can get a material, say your scrim banner, and if you feel your scrim banner is not represented by the media locator, or you don't want to use generics, and you want to dial in your own custom preset for your scrim banner, absolutely you can do that with this printer. And it's a, a few simple steps. You're going to go to the panel, and you're going to create a new media. When you create the new media, it's going to ask you a category. This is where the categories come in. What you're trying to do is pick a category that makes sense for what it is that you're printing on. So if you have a scrim banner, obviously, you would choose scrim banner. Now, within scrim banners, there's backlit and there's frontlit. Let's assume you have a frontlit scrim banner. That's what most people have. So then you would choose frontlit scrim banner from the panel, and then you would go through the three steps. And they're very clear. They're very simple. You print the calibration chart. You determine if you have bleeding. You determine if you have coalescence. And you determine if you have uh, your global ink limits correctly. And the next two charts, they're automated. You just hit color calibrate and then ICC profile and you're good to go. You have now completely built a custom preset for your specific media. And you can do that on any number of medias. The two exceptions are backlit. You can't do it for backlit because backlit requires a certain type of transmissive spectrophotometer. This is simply a refractive spectrophotometer. And also many of the fabrics, especially if you're using the ink collector, those are not going to work as well. But most materials will allow you to do a full preset on the printer. So those are my three ways. You have generic presets. Those are built into the printer. Those are all ready to go. Then you have media locator presets. Many of them are on the printer already, certainly a lot of the HP material. But the other ones are either on the search, which is right on your panel here, or you can use the HP Media Solutions locator, which is a foundational tool. I'm going to go over that in a little bit. The last way is to build your own preset. You can use the printer to do end-to-end -end profiling, uh, which includes your, um, your first, second, and third step, and we'll go over those in a separate video as well. Okay, those are the three ways to make media on a latex printer.